Hey, welcome back everyone. So nice to see you here. Nice to have you here. Please have a seat. You are in my living room. I have invited you over. I am Brian, your host. You are Chords and Notes Nation. This is going to be more Marcine. He is going to be playing Moonlight Sonata on one guitar. On one. One guitar. Uh, this will be my second Marcine reaction. The first one, he was with a uh, Japanese fella. Ichika, I think is the name. Uh, please check that out. I, I have that uh, I have that right now on my miscellaneous reactions playlist, but I'll be putting together a Marcin reactions playlist. Um, I was very intrigued by both of those players and how they, um, like how they played off of each other is basically what I wanted to say. And I know they have other videos, and I will be getting to those. But as I was sort of perusing his channel, I saw this Moonlight Sonata. This is, I think this is his number one viewed video, so it, uh, you know, gotta do it. And it's a Beethoven classic. Um, if you don't know this, you probably know the song, but if you don't know just the very basics behind the song, uh, its actual title is the Piano Sonata Number no. Fourteen in C Sharp Minor. Um, it was later on kind of dubbed Moonlight Sonata, written in eighteen o one, and in eighteen o two he dedicated it to his piano student Giulietta Giacardi. I can't even say her last name. I don't. <laughs> I wouldn't even know how to say it. Um, apparently. As the story goes, they were lovers, but she was younger than him, and he had no standing um, as far as, like, a title or anything, so he was, they were kind of forbidden to to be a couple, I guess. Uh, but that's just the information that's floating around out there. I don't know. I wasn't there, but whatever. Uh, so we're going to see what Mar Marcin does with this, and I'm really interested, after seeing that first video, on what... Uh, what he can do for me here. And I'll explain all of that later, what I mean by that.
dexterity to do that. take that I'll take that that was world class as far as I'm concerned um, okay so let's get back into what I was alluding to at the beginning of this now having seen him in you know different social media settings shorts and stuff like that um, I always just I wasn't sure about him you know I mean clearly he has the skills and the talent uh, but he was just a little too flamboyant for me and a little too percussive. Um, but I decided, yeah, I'm going to give this a shot. Because, again, I'm going into 2024. Uh, I'm pursuing music. Uh, and, and I'm expanding not only my own listening taste, but as you guys know, I'm, I'm traveling down this road of discovering these independent artists who are making a career outside of the record companies. And, and definitely, he's one of them. I know he was on, what, America's Got Talent or something like that. Um, so he's always kind of been in the periphery for, for me. Now it's time for me to focus and, and let's let's figure this out. Um, so my initial turnoff was just, he's just too percussive and he's too physically moving too much and too flamboyant that way. Um for me for my own personal taste now we get into this song and it's like okay this is a whole different level for me um of, of understanding him all right i've heard some pretty amazing virtuoso guitar players before and and i'm not lost on their abilities he has incredible dexterity incredible endurance um yes there was still some of that flamboyance Definitely, you can sense not only the classical uh, guitar playing style, but the flamenco and the Latin uh, influence there, especially with the percussive nature. And he's got the fingernails, okay? And those were strong, thick, polished fingernails, too. So he takes care of those things. Um, but he's also a performer. And even if it's live or if it's in a, in a, a video setting like this, 
he's he's creating an atmosphere and he's telling a story whether it's a song that already exists or if you know i'm sure he's done some originals that i'll come across he's certainly talented he's certainly skilled he's certainly passionate at what he does he's he's very much at the forefront of modern day virtuoso guitar players has to be um i spent a lot of time listening to um a handful of the fingerstyle players from indonesia who are absolutely wonderful but this is more of a world class uh there's just something a, a step above that uh that he he presents and there's another one that I'm going to be listening to um in, out of Italy but I I'll talk about that in that video uh that I heard he he's pretty amazing that Steve Vai was just like wow on that guy too so I think 2024 is going to be a really good year for me to dive back into a passion of mine that has kind of been on put on hold because of my career as a truck driver um, and get back into discovering what the beauty of this instrument can do you know I mean you're talking about an instrument with with basic your basic guitar has six strings that is responsible for <sighs> expressing the artistic soul of the individual who's playing it and you have to if you want to have yourself expressed properly that instrument will do it but you need to know what you're doing and here we have a young man who absolutely just blows the lid off of most guitar players i would say um today because if you look at music, modern music, how it's been just mangled and destroyed by the corporatocracy of record companies, you still have your virtuoso players out there. Steve Weiss, Joe Satriani, Al Di Miola, Yngwie Malmsteen, the list goes on. Uh, but they're not going to be around forever. And so we have this new group that's coming up. And, um, and it's really nice to hear and feel it being alive. There's another one, there's so many others that I've seen, but there's another one I want to react to. Um, if I remember her name correctly, it's Anna Vukovic, I believe, um, out of, uh, is it Croatia? I think she's out of Croatia. I saw her do uh, Asturias, and actually off of her performance, I started working on it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that didn't last long. Uh, she's a world-class um, classical guitar player too so I want to take a listen to more players like that but as far as Marcin is concerned for this, this young man is absolutely just uh, yeah stunning in, in how he performs and what he's able to successfully deliver and and that was a very nice rendition um, and it also had his personality it had his own flair uh, involved in it too uh, but it still um, invoked the original uh, feel and and uh, sonic meaning of of Beethoven's composition. So awesome! This was really cool. God bless you guys. Thank you guys for coming over. Jesus loves you. Remember that always as we move into a very interesting twenty twenty four. Keep your eyes above. I will talk to you later.